Hey, good evening. This this is Friday night. Thank you everyone for joining in and also say goodbye to Friday night party to be with us for the open house music therapy program at Ulalongkorn University. I hope you have been enjoying the three videos that we have shown at the beginning of our open house. The first one is Ulalongkorn University. And then the second one I would um, recommend that you go back to visit because it's the video that would guide you for the improvisation, how to improvise, especially improvisation for music therapy. Um, if you're preparing your application and also a video for the improvisation um, recording, um, this would be one of the video that could guide you um, during your preparations. My name is Pon Prapit Pausawat, as you've seen on my screen. I am the director of the music therapy program at Ulalongkorn University. I would like to once again welcome everyone and also thank you for joining us tonight. This is our first online this year, 2023. And we had drum circle last month and I can recognize and remember your face that coming to campus tonight. We would like to start our first open house. There are two parts. The first one, we will give a presentation co-host with Dr. Lee or Ajahn Lee. Um, the first one would be basic information and also um, necessary information if you are planning to apply for the music therapy program this academic year. Um, the application is open until May 17 next year, not next year, next month. Um, then the second sessions, we would open the floor and welcoming questions. So during the time and when Ajahn Lee is going through the presentations, if the question is coming up in your mind, please tie up in the form that Professor Lee will be collecting. And then we all will answer and we'll have conversation casual. Before we start, I would like to invite Professor Busakon Vincent. Um, the program has been co-founded by Professor Busakon Vincent, our Dean at the Faculty of Fine and Applied Art, working together with the Faculty of Medicine and also the Psychology and also with three more professors internationally. Tonight, please join me to welcome Professor Busukon Dinsen. Thank you, Dr. Ross and uh, Dr. Jean. And today I'd like to welcome you all to our unique uh, music therapy program. It's a combination of American and European and Asian approaches. You will not be sorry. Please hurry up register and study with us. You don't need to fly that far. Okay, I'd like to welcome you all to our program. Please, Dr. Ross, you can continue. Thank you, Kapun Kajan. I would like to move on to our next speaker and the host of the event, um, Dr. Jin Hong Lee. Please welcome. Thank you very much. Okay, music therapy is an evidence-based health profession. We help individuals with medical, psychological, rehabilitational, and developmental needs. And because we work together with doctors, psychologists, and special educators to optimize clients' health, we are considered complementary health, complementary medicine rather than alternative medicine. The agent of change in music therapy is the various music experiences um, the music therapists uh, facilitate. And more importantly, the changes occur because of the therapeutic relationship between the client and qualified therapist. So what distinguishes music therapy from various other modes of non-traditional therapy is because of its root. Uh, root its root is uh, grounded in research and theory. So that means there are a lot of theory and research to study if you decide to become a music therapist. So I briefly mentioned that the music therapy is offered by qualified music therapists. And by that, what I mean is qualified music therapists are those who completed quality academic training in the areas of music therapy, psychology, research, health, and medicine. More importantly, 
In order to qualify as music therapist, trainees in music therapy must undergo almost 1,000 hours of rigorous clinical training programs in various clinical settings. Music therapy is becoming highly well established as a respected member of health profession. In United States, as an example, more than 12 states established government endorsed licensure program for music therapists and many more states are in the process of creating such laws. This is also true in England, Australia, and some district of Canada. Currently, there are approximately 26,000 music therapists working in the United States alone, more than 7,000 in Europe or 5,000 in Japan, and more than 3,000 in Korea. It has been estimated that music therapists see about 1.6 million clients annually worldwide. Of those, almost 50% of music therapists work in healthcare field, such as medical hospitals, mental health care centers, rehabilitation hospitals, skilled nursing center, and hospice and palliative care centers. So similarly, uh, this survey conducted in 2017 shows the major settings where music therapists work. And you can see that most number work with uh, in the mental health, school, geriatric setting, private practice, medical, childcare, and so on. Since we have prepared a lot of information about our program, we will have to cut short about this content uh, about the field of music therapy. However, we'll have another open house on May 3rd. Actually, we are going to devote the entire session to help you understand better about the profession of music therapy, how, how music can be used to help people achieve their health goals, and um, how music therapy can develop in Asia area as well. So I hope most of you will also join us in that open house as well. Okay, now we are moving on to about our program and Professor Ross will explain. Okay, the photo here is the building where all the classes, can we go back to yes. the slide? Yes, and these are the students who are in the program right now and they are about to graduate. Our program is international program. So of course, it, all the instructions will be conducted in English. And um, so if you plan about for two years to graduate um, from now, if you apply and then you will be, the school will start in August and you're required to take 52 credits in order to graduate it. So each semester is about um, 13 to 15 credits. And we have um, international professors coming from Belgium, from Finland, from the United States, from Taiwan, and also from South Korea, Professor Jin Lee himself. And um, to, to provide a multicultural education, multicultural diversity in the perspective to cater to the needs of clients in each country, each culture. The class, does not require you to be at Jilamogon University, it doesn't require you to be at, in Bangkok all the time because it's the combination of online Zoom classes. And then we invite you to attend intensive online classes. And then the most important part or the component of the training is the clinical training. And we can do it in your home country. So if you're planning to apply for the program, also start thinking, looking for um, a clinic, a hospital, or a mental institute that you will be um, start doing your clinical training, internship, or the first year we call it practicum in your home country. And this is also important to be talking about is that it is the blended um, learning style between didactic, which is we're giving you a lecture, we're talking about theories, and then expose you to the practice, which is going to be experiential training. 
And then we dedicated the Faculty of Fine and Applied Arts has the room that dedicated to give you space and also the musical instruments and equipment for the music therapy program. We encourage all the students to take non-thesis option in order to graduate within two years. But if you are really, really would like to be a researcher and you are more than welcome to take the thesis option if you're, especially if you're planning ahead to continue your mm -hmm. um, PhD degree and you're planning to be uh, working in the academic environment, you would like to apply for a teaching job at a university, then you would dedicate more time to take the thesis option. So we have both options. Along planning your also time management class officially started at Jilalongan University mm -hmm. on August 7. And then class will goes until December. We plan to have intensive classes where all the students are required to fly and join a class in Bangkok. It will be in November between 13th of November until 24th of November. So it would last about two weeks. The date may be adjusted a little bit, but it will not be it will not be, be moved to October. It will not be in September. It will not be in December, but it will be it's now locked to be in November. This is a very lovely and fun and joyful um, photos. And unfortunately, I was not in the picture. So I will ask Ajahn Lee to take photo again. As you see, you see um, Ajahn Lee. And then in the center, we have Professor Josh DeBecker, um, world-renowned music therapist from KU Leuven in Belgium. And then we have the head of research center, at the Luca School of Music right there at the cursor, Professor Catherine Fubert. They're all flying to have the, conducted the intensive class here in Bangkok. This is the photo right in front of the building. Um, the music therapy program is the first international program. I stress it again, is the first international program in, in the region in Southeast Asia. And that's why all of the classes are offered in English. We welcome all of you um, from the group, from the around the globe to apply. And we really emphasize the training um, for our students to become professionals. And then they are even to join the global uh, stage as the leaders and also as the followers who can work together and also collaborate with um, international professors, researchers to de develop uh, joint projects. And then we trying very hard, and this is very important part of the program, it is a multicultural in order to become open-minded and speak out and try different methods that has been developed in Europe, in North America, and also one in Asia that has to also be developed. And then um, the program has started exchange study program. This year, we took nine students to visit a psychiatric university in Belgium. And two of the students from our program were selected to do internship at a hospital in Belgium. So you are having, you are giving an opportunity to also being invited to join the um, music therapy team in Belgium to gain more experience. So I would like to inter um, introduce our faculty members who would meet you online and also on site for all the courses. First, Professor Jin Hung Lee, um, our academic director. And then Professor Josh De Becker, who is professor at Luca School of Arts and is attached, affiliated with KU Leuven uh, University, is a Catholic university. Professor Jaco Erkila is professor in music therapy from University of Javascula in Finland. And then Professor Catherine Fuber from also from Belgium. And then Professor Funian, she um, 
is she's also a adjunct professor at Xiongsheng University in Taiwan. The faculty member at Yulanungkan University, this is the team collaborating and working together. First, Professor Guskan Vincent from the music department and I myself from the music department. Professor Gyakyat Radhi Ponsing, who is curate selected a medical professor and lecturers on courses such as health and disease and palliative care that will be given lectures in second year from the medical school. And then Professor Panrapi Sutiwan, um, former Dean of the psychology department, she herself also still teaching and giving lecture to our program. Okay, so let me tell you about our curriculum. Our curriculum is designed to create a well-balanced curriculum in music therapy. We offer classes that focus on foundation of aspects such as introduction to music therapy, developmental music therapy, meaning how to work with children with developmental, developmental uh, disabilities, uh, psychology and neuroscience of music, music therapy assessment, and health and disease. In terms of the method courses, we offer receptive methods, song and recreative methods, and clinical music improvisation. These are courses that help you to utilize music as a therapeutic tool that could uh, address the goals and objectives that we set for our clients. We also offer advanced courses such as medical music therapy and music psychotherapy to assist you to develop a sense of uh, professionalism in certain specific area of music therapy. We offer research courses such as quantitative research and qualitative research in music therapy to help you understand and design your own study and also conduct your thesis or independent study. And lastly, we, have, we offer a clinical training program, which has two portions. One is practicum and the other is internship. So all the students go through the clinical training parts. Chula Music Therapy offers classes in hybrid format, as we talked about before. Uh, it means that half, about, half of the classes um, meet weekly in real-time Zoom, just like we are meeting now, uh, to provide focused education on theory and research aspects of music therapy. However, there are aspects of music therapy that cannot be taught through Zoom, such as therapeutic presence, interactive musical exchange, exchanges, and nonverbal communications interactions in therapy. So for this hands-on learning, we meet in person for intensive classes in Bangkok. So intensive, cl intensive classes take place on the campus of Chulalongkorn University once in March, once in November. We just had our intensive class uh, from March 20 to April 1st. Uh, it was very intense and we were exhausted by the end of the period, but the joy of working together uh, for mutual growth made all the work and effort worthwhile. And we were very fulfilled and very happy at the end. This is the sample of online classes from this ongoing semester right now. So you can see that we, we have weekly online classes from Monday to Thursdays. Um, and the times are from afternoons to evenings. So we can save times for the, for the students to gain their clinical training experiences in the morning and early afternoons. This is the sample class schedule from the past intensive. So you can see that uh, during the first week, year one student took developmental music therapy in the morning, uh, music psychotherapy in the afternoon. Uh, the second year students took lifespan psychopathology, focusing on adolescence in the morning and palliative care in, the, in music therapy in the afternoon. Um, during the second week, uh, first year students took clinical improvisation and self experiences, and second year students took lifespan and professional ethics. So you can see that we have good mixture of classes. So you can take classes from 9 to 4 p.m. And we took one day, the uh, Sunday off, which was March 26th. We designed our clinical 
training program to take place all year round. So students register for either practicum or internship every semester, and they start with observation, joint sessions with their on-site supervisors or other students, and then they progress towards running their own independent sessions by themselves. All of this process is supervised by on-site supervisor and the university clinical supervisor. If there is no music therapist on site, uh, then the university clinical supervisor provides more in-depth and personal supervision to help students succeed in their practicum settings. Through our clinical training, students accumulate about 900 to 1,000 clinical training hours, which is uh, above most of the standards. Since music therapy is a field of applied science, we have a mixture of different knowledge and skills to learn. Therefore, professors employ different teaching methods. So for example, when we talk about research and theories, we use the didactic method of teaching. When we uh, teach the therapeutic skills and also the conversational skills, and how the musical interactions should work. We use experiential learning and also project-based and collaborative learning to maximize the goal of the education. So we're talking about non-thesis option. Non-thesis uh, has a nickname IS, which is independent studies. And so it is like smaller than thesis. So when we're talking about smaller, the size, how many pages we're talking about. So we're talking about minimum of 30 and then up to 40, 50, 100, if you would like to, we, won't, we don't have maximum. And then um, you start to work on your IS independent study from third year, uh, from third semester and then the fourth semester. So you have one year to work on your IS. So second year, as a second year student, you become more independent and then you think about your topic and then you take the exam to defend your topic. You, you will be assigned an advisor. Um, the choice of your methodology to do your IS, it could, it could be, it usually follows a format of well-established review study methods, including scoping review, integrative review, or narrative review. This might be the questions that um, Professor Lee received tonight. What is scoping review? What is integrative review or narrative review? Also, so if we get a questions about what is scoping review, we might need like uh, three more hours to continue on an open house. And students um, undergo an identical evaluation process, which means you will also need to defend your independent study, you will set up your committee which comprise of at least three professors, and then um, you will be submit the independent study to all the committee to be read and review before you taking the exam. The facilities on campus, we will have a set of musical instruments in the music therapy room, and the top left is the whole building of the Faculty of Fine and Applied Arts. Um, so we, it is located in the, the building of the Faculty of Fine and Applied Arts. And we offer the space for intensive classes and also to do drum circle, like the one that you have already visited. So now this is the um, preparations for the tuition and also the fee. Per, this is just about per semester. Um, if you are international students, it is on the right column. For each semester, the total is 250,000. This is in Thai baht. And then for the Thai students, it is 150,000 baht per semester. So it is four semester. That will be the total times for fours. So when we look at the time, the tables that are showing the numbers of the tuition fee, then the next questions in your mind is about scholarship. Is that available? And what kind of scholarships that uh, will be 
able for you to apply on campus. Um, the department, which means our program doesn't have, uh, we don't have our own scholarship right now. Um, there are some research assistance, assistantships that you may be able to apply. It will be announced on the graduate school website, which is www.gradgrad.jula.ac.th or just search scholarships for graduate student Jula. It will link you to the website so that you can read and then prepare, for example, the deadline qualifications. And um, the Office of International Affairs and Global Network also offers part of the scholarship. This is important part of the scholarships for students from ASEAN country and also from non-ASEAN country. So search, search for ASEAN and non-ASEAN scholarship, Chulalongkorn University. And pay attention to the deadline. Each year, the deadline is different and you are required to apply um, from your very first year after you receive an offer being accepted by the program. I would like to actually take a moment to share with you our vision for this exciting graduate program in music therapy. So the university motto of Chula is knowledge together with virtues. In line with this motto, our program will aim to train music, virtuous music therapists who truly care. So each letter of care, C-A-L-E, represents our four major goals. So for C, which means collaboration centered. So we'll pursue multi-level collaboration to promote music therapy in the Southeast region of Asia. We'll collaborate with the government to provide much needed services to those in need. We'll collaborate with various institutions to create new jobs in music therapy. We'll collaborate with alumni therapists to provide, to provide and expand our clinical training programs. And we'll collaborate with community artists for bringing the healing power of music to our community. For A, it stands for academic excellence. We will expand our international exchange programs. We'll work harder to create more comprehensive curriculum and work with students at individual level to support the development of individual and professional identity and their exp expertise area. The R stands for innovative research. We are grateful for our ongoing collaboration with the King Shula Longkorn Memorial Hospital. Uh, we will strive to extend this collaboration to conduct advanced research projects, secure national grants, and provide assistantship programs, and also continue um, collaborative research in music and technology. Lastly, E stands for promotion of excellence. We'll strive for excellence by working with CU alumni and area music therapists for joint projects, organizational activities, and continuing education to provide and to promote uh, professional development. Okay, so now we move on to the next section, which is about qualification of applicants. Perhaps you're here because you're considering music therapy as your next career, and you may be a good candidate for a music therapist if one of these uh, characteristics apply to you. So if you trust that people can change on the right circumstances, or if you believe in the power of music, how it can change us and influence us, if you are interested in pursuing a helping profession, and if you want to do more with your musical skills, not just for your own fame and applause, but also uh, getting, sharing your talents to help those in needs. If you value the importance of wellness, quality of life and health, this may be right for you. Also, if you like people, if you enjoy interacting with other people and also helping them, supporting them, this job may be the right place for you. 
in order to qualify as, as an applicant to our program, you need to demonstrate your skills in the area of academic, music, and English language. We suggest that you have minimum of 3.0 uh, GPA out of 4.0. But if you don't have that minimum GPA, then you are asked to provide additional documents that can demonstrate your academic proficiency. Uh, people who studied music, psychology, or health sciences, such as nursing, um, may be preferred uh, when we consider for application, but it is not necessary. We have been getting students from many different backgrounds. High levels of musicianship is very important. Uh, ability to be able to sing in tune, accompany yourself on guitar and or piano. Uh, you don't have to play both of them, but we encourage uh, you to learn both down the road. There are uh, different settings where guitar is better. There are also places where uh, piano is already available. So it'll be wonderful if you can uh, utilize both instruments. Also, you will need to be able to improvise on one, of, one choice of your instrument. It can be even percuss percussion instruments. We want to know if you can be freely creative in music. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be um, outstanding improv improviser, but we want to know your ability to express yourself in music and create some kind of uh, uh, momentum and a flow in music. Also, uh, we would want you to perform a major piece on a choice of your instruments or your voice. Also, we have English uh, proficiency requirement. So um, you're planning for the application. This is about all the process that we put in the timeline. Um, next will be the online open house. It will be online on May 3rd in about a week from now. And then um, in order to meet before we closed for the application, the due dates, the last day that you will be able to submit is May 15th, and it will be closed at 3 p.m. Bangkok time. It is very important. Please don't wait until the last minute. Something can happen and we will not be able to help you. Then you will have to wait until next year. Again, May 15, 2023 at 3 p.m. The system will be closed online. And then please mark May 17. It will be an interview online. We'll send out the schedule we'll, to your email. Um, approximately will be 30 minutes for each applicant. So we'll be interview you online. May 17 is the announcement. And then it will take us two days, May 18 and then May 19. And it will be between 2 p.m. until 7 p.m. Bangkok time. Some of, as you have seen our professor in Belgium, in Finland, they will also be on the interview committee. So to fight and compete with the time difference that is the most optimum time between Bangkok and also Europe, European time zone, 18 and 19. And then you will be receiving the admission results, getting an offer to your email on May 31st. These are all the documents that, and also videos that we would like to receive from you in a package. As first of, first of all, it is an application form. And then we are also asked for your photograph. And then it's also very important to identify yourself. If you're a, a Thai national, please provide us a scanned copy of your national ID card. And then if not, then if you're a international applicants, please scan your passport. And then we also would like to see your transcript um, just for your undergraduate study. 
Second, the next one is very important because it's the international program we required by the graduate program that you have to submit your English proficiency, proficiency, proficiency test. Um, it could be a TOEFL score, it could be a IELTS score. We, it is eligible both. Um, so this is the score required in order to be admitted. The TOEFL score, it could be IBT or it could be paper-based or it could be computer-based. Um, 61 is the score, but if you take the paper, this is the equivalent to, this is the, the paper base is equivalent to 500. This is the required. So the applicants must submit your English proficiency, proficiency score before um, you register or submit, before registration for classes. You will be exempt from the English requirement if you study and graduate from it. Uh, university where English is the official language, like for example, in New Zealand, in the United States. So your score will be exempt. You'll be required to submit two letters of recommendations. And one of the letter of recommendations we ask to be written by your academic professor. It could be your undergraduate um, advisor or course instructor from one of your university course instructor. And then the SOP, the statement of purposes, around 750 words. Um, in the next slides, we'll talk, we'll talk about what is it going to be in the SOP. The SOP is the nickname of the statement of purpose. So it is the only document that you will write and tell us about yourself inside out. Um, on the right, you will see this graphic design. Just tell you about parts or components, things that you would include in your statement. So tell us about yourself. Why are you interested in music therapy? Your love, your passion, and you would like to commit, you would like to be committed in the next two years as a student, and maybe in the next five years as a newly graduated, new in the field, and maybe the entire life that what inspire you so much that you see yourself as a music therapist in Thailand, in Malaysia, in Taiwan, in Singapore. Tell us your perspective. How do you understand how much you understand the feel of music therapy. It is not to be judged. There is no right or wrong. We would like to see you explain yourself, your thinking about music therapy. And then tell us your, your experience, if you have been any experience, um, less or more, it doesn't matter how you get involved. How do you know about music therapy? Have you been volunteer? as an assistant to a music therapist? Have you been seeing a case or involved in any kind of offered music to help someone, to express someone, or to help them feel better? Structure or outline your interest in a specific area of the field of music therapy. And then look at yourself and then tell us how good you are as a person, your strength and your weakness as a person. And more importantly, to be a music therapist. What need to be worked on? Is there any personal issues that you, you would like to overcome? What is difficult for you to talk about yourself? That is that weakness. Or have you seen one or not? I only have the strength, I only have the good part. Tell us about that. My previous slides, I have been talking about independent studies, plan ahead, think about your research topics. What would you like to dig into the field of music therapy? Digging into it, in order to get more information to prepare yourself to become a professional one in your career and then your vision, your life, 
short-term goals, and then long-term goals. Now, we're about the last two documents, your curriculum vitae, for the resume, resume, your work, your education, light them up, your activities, your hobbies, and then how many languages do you speak? And any kind of um, professional associations that you are, have been affiliated with. And then the last portion of your package is a video. So you're recording the video, and I would like Dr. Lee to talk about details of the video clips, please. Yes. So um, just like what I, we explained before, uh, we would like to see your musical skills uh, recorded on videos. So you can select four songs to be accompanied and sung on song. So you can choose to uh, choose songs from your own country, uh, English songs, pop songs, uh, art songs, children's songs, but not in one genre, but from various variety of different genres. So we can actually see your ability to understand and perform these songs uh, from different uh, sources. So um, preferably just by yourself, and also uh, sitting across from the camera so you can actually see about um, your top portion of your body with your instruments and singing directly to the camera. And you can move on to another video with free improvisation on the melody, harmony, or percussive instruments. So this improvisation um, can have a theme or title, or it may be free improvisation with no title. And uh, it can last from anywhere from three to five minutes. And lastly, uh, we would like to see you perform a short piece on one of the instruments that you feel most strongly that you relate to. So, uh, and it can be also a voice as well. So you can um, select an instrument, select a piece that uh, best shows your uh, technical skills on that instrument and make a record. You can upload all these um, videos to your YouTube channel and as a private link. So that when you just send us the list of links, we can see through the, through the links. So the application process go through this, you would um, submit the university official application and then you will send all the documents that we just listed, including one document that lists all the links to your videos. So please send them to our email. And it will be very helpful for us to be organized uh, when you name the files with uh, this, this guideline. So please name each file with your last name and then the file name. And preferably, it will be good to have the documents in PDF files or JPEG um, image files. Okay, so as we mentioned again, we have another open house that will be dedicated about explaining the profession of music therapy, what it is like to work and live as a music therapist. I'll try to demonstrate uh, different mm -hmm. special, specialized areas and also explain the mechanism behind the use of music for health goals. So perhaps you'll be able to understand um, how music therapy is very scientific, evidence-based, and it can be one of the major complementary medicine and uh, special education. So please uh, register for the upcoming event as well. I would like to take this opportunity um, to invite you to join us again next month on May uh, 3rd for our last, last open house. But in the meantime, when you prepare your applications, um, when you write your statement of purpose and also your recording, you can also please feel free to email us or also uh, Facebook messages. And also to stop by at Jula University at Faculty of Fine and Applied Arts Building um, I go to school almost every day and come up to the second floor and visit our office on the second floor and, and make an appointment to meet with me 
or attendee online also in order to if you need um, a deeper coaching if you would like to meet team up with your friends team up with your friends maybe three or four and have maybe half an hour sessions with specific questions for your recordings or your uh, when you're writing for your applications and um, we'll try to set up the time in between before the open house if our time available yes and um please follow us on facebook if you would like to um, follow our activities to see a uh, movement uh, to see the progress on the program and also our facebook just search for ma uh, music therapy Jualongan university or email us or visit our website there is an ebook brochure so this is the printed versions but um, this one the whole e brochure is also online mm -hmm. Ajami, would you like to go to the last one and see you f a a m t at gmail.com um, either Ajahn Lee or myself and also our staff will screen your message and then deliver your message to the right person to answer your questions. So see you again maybe next time on our open house or come to say hi to us on campus if you're in Bangkok or you plan to visit Bangkok. Thank you very much for tonight. Thank you everyone for joining us. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.